In sports news, Lionel Messi has rejoined the Argentine national team for two more qualifying matches to help the defending champions reach the 2026 World Cup. Messi, who last played in a friendly with Inter Miami last Friday, is expected to play when Argentina hosts Uruguay on Thursday night. The match begins at 7 p.m. at Inside Estadio La Bombonera, the Boca Junior Stadium, in Buenos Aires, Argentina. In other news, the Bengals will be without wide receiver T. Higgins for their game against the Ravens due to a hamstring injury. Higgins did not practice all week and was ruled out on the game status report. This is a significant loss for the team as they face a tough Baltimore defense. In international news, Marcelo Bielsa, the former Leeds United manager, has been denied hotel stays in Argentina and Uruguay due to accusations of anti-Semitism. The hotel cited a lack of availability. Bielsa has been accused of anti-Semitism for years including by the U.S. government, but he denies these claims, stating that he believes in human rights and speaks openly about the genocide of the Palestinian people. In entertainment news, the 2023 Latin Grammys are just around the corner. The ceremony will take place on November 16th and will be held in Sevilla, Spain for the first time ever. The event will be broadcast on Univision in the U.S. and at 10.30 p.m. set on Radio Television Española, Art Fe, in Spain. The ceremony will also air in more than 80 countries globally. Nominees include big names like Christina Aguilera, Carol G, and Rosalia. In health news, the FDA has expanded its list of recalled eye drops due to potential bacterial contamination. The recalls prompted by unsanitary conditions found at the manufacturing facility. The FDA has warned that using the contaminated eye drops could result in eye infections, partial vision loss, or blindness. Consumers are advised to return the recalled products and check for updates on the manufacturer's website to ensure their eye drops are safe. In football news, the 2024 Copa America is just around the corner and there are still many questions left unanswered. The tournament, which is typically a South American competition, will be hosted by the United States for the first time. The U.S. will be one of 16 teams competing, with the other 10 coming from CONMEBOL, South America's football governing body. The tournament will kick off on June 20, 2024 and conclude on July 14, 2024. The host cities and venues have not yet been announced, and the group stage draw is set for December 7, 2023. The winners of the Copa America will face the winners of the 2024 European Championship in the 2025 Conmebol. In other sports news, Chile and Paraguay will return to World Cup qualifying on Friday when they do battle in Santiago. Both teams have four points on the board from their first four outings, and a win for either side would see them quickly improve their standing in the early stages of the South American group.